Welcome back to day 23 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're diving into a weird, messed up little gem from the 1980s, 976 Evil. That doll is evil, I tell ya. Evil! Evil! Well, what's the hook, you ask? Well, the movie's directed by none other than Robert fucking England. Yes, Freddy Krueger himself stepped behind the camera for this one. So even though 976 Evil might not be a masterpiece, it's got enough weird shit going on to make it worth a while. Here's the setup. We got Hoax, a total nerd who's constantly getting bullied. The poor guy stumbles onto this phone service that offers more than just psychic advice. It gives him some serious dark powers. Think about it. It's like dialing up Satan's hotline for a free trial, except the cost isn't $9.99 a minute. It's your fucking soul. <laughs> your soul is mine. <laughs> and once Hoax taps into that power, Things go from nerdy to nightmare really quick. Now let's be honest, this isn't the kind of film that's going to change your life. But here's the thing, the concept is fucking wild. A killer hotline in the 1980s? That's a mix of cheesy tech obsession and a supernatural chaos that somehow works. England knows how to bring that creepy vibe and while the movie definitely leans into campy territory, it's actually what makes it kind of fun. It's like if Freddy Krueger had a side gig as an evil telemarketer. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. The real highlight of 976 Evil is the transformation. Watching Hoax go from a shy, awkward kid to a full-blown demonic badass is satisfying in all the right ways. The effects? Well, sure, they're outdated as hell, but who gives a shit? You're here for a wild one, not Oscar-worthy makeup. The film doesn't shy away from embracing its weird ass concept and that's what gives it the charm. And let's give credit to Robert England for trying something different with his directorial debut. You can tell he was having a blast playing with the supernatural elements, the grotesque transformations, and the dark humor running through it. It's not Nightmare on Elm Street, but it doesn't need to be. It's weird, twisted, and has a late 80s horror vibe that just feels right. So yeah, 976 Evil might not be topping any best of horror lists, but if you're in the mood for something strange, cheesy, and a little bit off the wall, it's worth dialing up. After me, motherfucker! Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.